Well, it is all about family for Mike Rapoli. And in addition to the huge human entourage he comes with, we're going to see two homebreds coming with him to Del Mar for the Breeders' Cup. Talking about Menti and a champion already in fierceness. Mike, has it sunk in yet? It has sunk in. You know, fierceness has been a star for probably exactly a year, even though he broke his maiden by 11 after he lost to Champagne. <laughs> He needed to redeem himself, and it's almost a year anniversary of that amazing Breeders' Cup Juvenile, and he took us on an amazing ride this entire year, and if he's not the favorite in the Breeders' Cup Classic, the betters are wasting their money betting the international horses, but, uh, you know, add Menti in there with the five for a long track record, and then a little disappointment in the hopeful and coming back on the turf grade three stake and winning easily. It's made this amazing family of Nona Mia, Nona Bella, Stay Thirsty, and Nona Bella even more special. Talking about Nona Mia, the grandmother, named for your grandmother. You couldn't have had any idea what was going to come from her line, right? I mean, when you first bought her, do you remember when you bought her? There I, had to be a reason why you gave her such an important name. It was early in the game. Actually, Bruce Levine bought her. And I wasn't even with Todd Pletcher yet. And for me back then, and I think 08, I think I paid $200,000 for a yearling at Saratoga, which was a lot for me. And... Honestly, I gave her the name, you know, thinking that she might win a couple of races in, uh, at Saratoga or Belmont, which she did. I couldn't have scripted that a broodmare that I bought 15 years ago would turn out to be the matriarch, just like my grandmother was the matriarch of my family, the matriarch of my breeding operation. She gave us Outwork, who's given us a bunch of horses, and then she produced a couple mares, and one of them being Nona Bella. Many people are saying she's broodmare of the year. Incredible. And City of Light, winner of the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. So you got that Breeders' Cup head cred right there from the top of it. When we do look at this pedigree, as you just went over, it's it's dynamic. It's surface flexible. We're going to see Fierceness, of course, take on the Longines Classic. Meanwhile, Menti, as you mentioned, he won that win and you're in for the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf Sprint. But first preference is going to be the Juvenile Turf at the mile distance. Well, can we talk about the heart of Menti? Because I did not know, uh, after he did put forth that record-setting debut, he actually had stepped on something and developed the beginning of laminitis. But you all caught it really quickly, and he was able to recover. We weren't even sure it was the early stage, but that's how fast Todd and, and Dr. Yarbrough and Todd's staff moved on that. We moved it to just be safe. And about a day or two later, we found out it was. And Danielle Bricker, who does a great job for the stable. I mean, she was Menti's roommate for six, seven days in the hospital, like a caring mother that just uh, basically slept in the stall uh, two, three times a day for a full week. And uh, Todd and I are always super, super careful about that the health of the horse always comes first. And, and now, you know what? I think he's going to be better this start than he was last. You are here at the Breeders' Cup with two homebreds from the same mare. It's really incredible because they are poised to make history uh, in a couple of ways because there have only been in the history of the Breeders' Cup two sets of full siblings to become Breeders' Cup champions. Uh, we've had Banks Hill and Intercontinental win the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Turf, Banks Hill in 2001 and Intercontinental in 2005. And then there was Sweet Cat of Mine. And she won the Juvenile Phillies back in 2004, as well as Eclipse Honors. And her full sister, Life is Sweet, scored the distaff. It was then called the Ladies Classic. Yeah. Uh, and that was in 2009. So not only would they join them as only being the third set of full siblings, but they would be the first brothers. I wish you didn't tell me that because you just put more pressure on me. Well, I but, even uh... have more pressure for you. <laughs> only seven horses have won two different Breeders' Cup races. Zenyatta Beholder, Secret Circle, Stephanie's Kitten, uh, Nick's Go, Golden Pal, and Modern Games. If Fierceness makes that juvenile classic double, he'll join that list and he'll be the first horse to take both of those races. When you start winning races like the Travers twice uh, or the Juvenile three times or the Jim Dandy three times, you know, or the Alabama twice, you start, <laughs> and then you sit there and you pinch yourself like, yeah. you know, I, I'm now trying to win some of these greatest races, dream races for the second or third or fourth time. It's, it's surreal. It really is. And one of the joys of watching you with your horses has also been the inclusion of your family, including your beautiful Joya. And she's old enough now to really appreciate and remember these races and understand the stakes 
of them. Uh, so what has this been like for her watching Fierceness and Menti grow up alongside her? When I first started out with racing, I didn't know it would have this family dynamic. When we won the Travers this year, just to have my mom and dad and Maria, who's been with me for 25 years, and Joya, my brother, my friends since fifth grade, since I was 10 years old, and my nieces, my nephews, it, it, it's just so special. But if you watch my races before 2017, 18, my grandmother was either on my right or left side every single time. And now it's either Joya on my right or left side every single time. And unfortunately, Joya has my personality, not Maria's. Uh, she knows where the camera is and she knows where the mic is. And, uh, you know, Ren, she's a bigger threat to your job than my job. Trust me. Uh, <laughs> she, she loves this. And you know what? Joya likes sports, but taking her to racing is whether it's in the morning with, with Todd and, you know, she's in his office or, you know, she's with Isabel feeding mints to the, the many horses we have there. This is how I know she's my daughter. You know, when you ask Joy where her favorite place at the horse track is, she tells you the winner's circle. You know, she tells you the winner's <laughs> circle. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's certainly going to be a blessing to see how the whole family piles into that winner's circle should Menti and or Fierceness uh, get it done. Going from Future Stars Friday, Championship Saturday, Mike Rapoli, I can't thank you enough for your time. Thank you so much, Ren. I appreciate what you do for the game. 